Hello everybody and welcome to my video on how to colorize cartoons. So to begin with, you'll notice we have Adobe Photoshop already open. If you don't have it open already, the way to get there is to click the Start menu, hit All Programs, look for Adobe Design and Web Premium, click on that, scroll down, there are two different Photoshops here in, at our school. You can click on either one of them. They will both work properly. And once you click on it, this will load. You'll notice when it loads, we have nothing here in the middle of the screen. We have to go to File Open and open up our file. Once we get there, we need to uh, find our file, which should already be in our shared folder. So we'll click the shared folder, and we're going to click Middle School. We're going to click the Antonucci folder, we're going to click 6th grade, and then find whatever quarter it currently is for your class. I'm going to click quarter 2, and we're going to look through the files to find out which one is yours. If you hit this button up in the corner, this blue button that says View Menu, we're going to change that to Large Icons. Once you do that, you can scroll through and see all the different drawings that we have in this folder. If they're too small for you, click the button again and you go to extra large and you can see them much better. Once you find the one that you want, you're going to click on it. You're going to click open. And here's the drawing I did of Calvin and Hobbes. And I'm ready to start coloring. Now when you're ready to start coloring, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to look around for holes. Now I know I have a hole right here on Hobbes' head, and if I go over to my magnifying glass, I'm going to click on my magnifying glass, and I'm going to click and drag and make a box, and it's going to zoom right in on, on Hobbes' head. And I, I had a couple holes through here, so I'm going to need to go in and fix those first. So I'm going to click on my paintbrush, and right now my color is white, and we don't want it to be white. So if we look down here on the bottom left corner, we can change our color here. We can also go up here in the top right corner, click on color, or swatches. I like having my swatches open. And if you don't see the swatches, you can go under your window menu and pull down to where it says swatches. If you see the check mark, it means it's already open. So I'm going to go over and click on black, and black's going to be my color. And if you want your paintbrush bigger or smaller, you click up on the top menu, and you can adjust the size of your brush. Right now that's way too big. Uh, we want to have it a little lower, maybe around 12 or 13 looks good. That's a little too big. Let's bring it back down. Maybe 7. That looks good. So now I have my color is black. And what I'm going to do is draw in. I don't like that. So I'm going to go to Edit Undo Brush. And I want to try to curve that a little bit more to make it look like it's part of his face. And if we have holes, uh, what's going to happen is we, when we go to fill it in with color, it's going to bleed all into the background, so we want to close up any areas where we might have holes. Go back to our magnifying glass, we zoom out, and we're looking for holes. We see if we see any. There's one right there in his coat, but that's all going to be the same color. So I think we're okay now. So I'm going to zoom out one last time so I can see my whole picture. Now to find our paint bucket, if you look over on your toolbar, you don't see the paint bucket if you're looking. You have to actually find it, and it's underneath this tool, which is called the Gradient Tool. So I'm going to click and hold on the Gradient Tool, and you'll notice underneath it says Paint Bucket Tool. So I'm going to click on that Paint Bucket Tool. Okay, we're going to click on the Paint Bucket Tool, and up in the right-hand corner are our color menus, or we can click right here on the black and change black to a different color. I'm going to start with orange because I know that Hobbes is a tiger and he's orange, so I'm going to click on my orange. And if we look at the paint bucket, you'll notice that that paint bucket has a little arrow in the corner, and that arrow is where you actually want to physically click. Ooh, and now it's gray. If that ever happens to you where it comes up looking gray, there's a really easy fix. First we're going to do undo, and then we're going to go to image, and we're going to change the mode. And the mode right now is grayscale, which means it's all gray. So you can go back and change that to RGB color. It means red, green, blue. We change it back to red, green, blue, and as we see, it goes back to my orange. Okay, if that doesn't turn up gray, you can just go ahead and start coloring. And you want to start clicking to fill in. If you accidentally move your mouse over the black part, 
and click, it turns everything that was black orange. So we want to go to Edit, Undo, and then click again, and keep filling in our color. And if you make a mistake, remember we have the Undo option. We also have another option. We can go to Window, pull down to History, and what your history is, is it memorizes the last 20 or so steps that you made. So the further I click back, you'll see I start going back in time. But I don't want to do that. I want to go right back to where I was and collapse that menu again. And we can start filling in with color and filling in Calvin and Hobbes. Now the sky probably would actually be white in the wintertime, but we're not going to have it white. We're going to have the sky to be blue, so I'm going to get a nice light blue color and fill in the sky, and we want to make sure we get all of it. I think a nice blue sky is exactly what we need in wintertime. I'm actually recording this in the winter, so I, I know exactly uh, what you're feeling if you're getting a little tired of winter. We need some nice blue skies. So we're filling in all of our blue, and if it's hard to see, remember you can go to your magnifying glass, and we can zoom in. Whoops, we have to go back to positive, which means zoom in more. Hit the plus, and zoom in, and we're going to go back to our paint bucket again. And make sure we get all those little areas, and if you're having a hard time getting them with the paint bucket, you can actually go in with the paintbrush too and paint in some of those areas if they if they're becoming really tricky for you. This area right up here on the top, I think I'm going to get a paintbrush and just paint right over it. Yep, paint right over that spot. Zoom back out. Another option you can do that I've shown a couple of different classes so far is if you click and, and hold, you can ignore the bell. Click and hold, and we go down to Custom Shape Tool. When you click Custom Shape, way up here at the top, you're going to have options to click different shapes. Right now, we have a few of them to choose from, but we want all of them. So we're going to click on the gear, go down to All, click OK, and let's look at all of them. So we're going to look at all of our shapes and see. We're going to have somebody saying something. We're going to have Calvin saying something. We're going to click on the on our speech bubble and cancel. I don't know if we want our speech bubble to be blue. If I click and drag with it, it's going to turn out being blue. I don't know if I want it to be blue. I'd rather have it a different color. So up top, we can change our fill. Once we make it, we can fill it with white instead. And then our stroke is our outline. I'm going to change that to black. So now we have up top, we have our fill and our stroke for our shape. I'm going to take my move tool, which is here on the top, and move it over. If for some reason you want your speech bubble going the other way, you click on the move tool, and you have to make sure that show transform controls is checked. And there's a little box around the edge, and you can resize. You can move it this way or that. You can um, take the mouse and move it to the corner, and you can rotate it if you want to, and that'll help you customize it. And you move it off to the side. Now we want to do the step last because it adds a different layer. Because right now we have our background layer, and then we have a separate layer, which is our shape and our speech bubble. I'm going to go over here to my text tool, and I'm going to click right inside of my shape. And I'm going to start adding text. And I'm going to make Calvin say, I love the snow. Okay, so um, you'll notice it's kind of space sort of odd right now so I can fix that once you start typing you'll notice the top up here starts looking a whole lot more like Microsoft Word so what you can do is you can highlight it just like Microsoft Word by clicking and dragging uh, I'm gonna hit the center button to make sure that it's centered um, the font size is actually okay I can make it a little bigger if I want maybe to 30 make it a little bigger now we don't see it the problem is here is that um, we have problem with our text. So if we go to Window, Character, you'll notice that there's a letter A over A. And what that means is it's the distance between the letters above and below. So if we go and we change that back to 36 or 30, you'll notice it goes back along the lines of where we wanted. So I'm going to hit Return or Enter to bring it down. And I think I liked it better that way. I think I like I like this. I love the snow like that. I'm going to click on my move tool again and I'm going to resize this box. I'm going to shrink it up. Well, that's just shrinking the text. So we go over here to shape one. 
shape one, we're going to shrink it, the box down a little bit. Hit enter. And we're going to leave it right there. Now, if I want to go back and color Calvin, what I have to do, if I go over to my paint bucket and I click Peach and I go to start coloring Calvin, it's not going to let us. So we have to go back over and make sure we're on the background. We'll make sure we're on the layer where Calvin is. As long as we're on Calvin's layer, we can start coloring it. I don't like that color. It doesn't look like Calvin's skin color. Neither does that. That's better. It looks more like it. So now we can start colorizing Calvin and adding in all the special effects. And when you are finished, make sure that you go up to the file menu and that you click save. And you save it as your name, Mr. Antonucci. And we're in the right folder. We click save. And we're all set. And next time we can open it up and finish it up. And there you go. Thanks for watching the video.